So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4 5 1 formation, Jim. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. And that gets things running. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? I, I would think Diego Costa. Not only does he do a, a good job with his back to goal, he does a better job facing goal through his willingness to run behind the fences. Uh, a provocateur with, with a villainous reputation, but so, so effective. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Keeper's got good distance on that. Saul, Koke, Baba plays it over to the other flank. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement, forget it. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Plays it out to the flank. Tries to switch the play. Oh, that is lovely footwork. In it comes. Towering header! This could fall anywhere. Shears it out of harm's way. It's got through, has a shot! <laughs> They've played it short. Lamar. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Knocked uh, down by a lack of accuracy. And it's Diego Costa. Out to the left it goes. Back into the middle. Chance to shoot. Diego Costa. And he's been booked for simulation. Well, that's just very cynical. For him to think he could get away with it is, uh, is ugly on his part. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. No 
goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. Already up and running for the second half. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. Costa clips one through. Time to deliver. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. So we've reached the hour mark. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Going for goal! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Koke. Trippier. Vitolo. Baba. Forward it goes. Into the last quarter of an hour. Mallorca are in search of their winner. And that's been won straight back. Mallorca are still clinging on here with not long to go. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. And the weighted pass. And he's there to clear it. So time is nearly up. One final twist, perhaps. And that will be the final act. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge. And it has finished goalless. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what